Okay, hey everybody. I'm on my way to Dollar Tree. A huge Dollar Tree store in Texas. It's the biggest one in Texas. So, I remember one time I said that you, somebody, or was it something like that along that line said, well, there's a bigger one. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't live there. I live here. It's the same thing about the weather. You know, you say, oh man, the weather just keeps getting hotter and hotter and like this year here in Texas. It's a suburb of Dallas, north of Dallas. And uh, man, many, several places in Dallas, we've just been having, uh, I think today we're going to break a record too, record high. And it's supposed to be in, in the 90s. And then it's supposed to cool down. But we've been told that, yeah, for a while. Today's October 3rd. And it started in June. That unusual so high, 100 plus temperatures. The highest I saw was 117, and that was the heat index, but still 117 is the feel like. That's what it felt like. And uh, that was in June, so I don't know. I may have missed some in Jul July, August, September. <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, uh, but before somebody, one time somebody said, well, it's hotter, and, and they named some other state, whatever it was at the time. And uh, I'm thinking, are these people stupid? <laughs> people who say such things. Well, I don't live there. I'm making a video about what it is here. But yeah, you know, I know what they're doing. I'm not stupid. <laughs> I, actually, my degrees are in psychology and sociology. So yeah, I'm not stupid to it. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go there to Dollar Tree. So I want to get, they have rugs, you know, for $5.00. And they're the kind that you can just throw away, you know. After that, we had made come out finally again. I had been, um, I really couldn't do anything back in uh, um, May and June. Because of the health condition that I had. I still don't know what what's causing it still to this day. And back then I didn't have health insurance. And then I got health insurance. Uh, started August 1st and still don't know. I went to the hospital three times, two, twice in May, once in June, still didn't know. And, and people in that, you know, that business told me, um, they said, oh, you can call these numbers and they'll, 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 you know, put a suspicion off on somebody else. They call those numbers and they say, oh, you don't have health insurance? Well, they will let you die. It was like a mantra, they will let you die. It was eerie, ominous. Now, who wants to hear that when they're having problems? Help pro who wants to hear it ever? But, uh, as I learned, yeah. And now, I have health insurance. I have to prove that I can make a certain amount of money. Okay, this is how I'm seeing it. I don't know if anybody else would have it. And what I've been told, and I don't know whether anybody else would have been told. But I have to, um, in order to get affordable, doing air quotes, affordable health care here in Texas, I had to prove that I could make a certain amount of money. I'm not mentioning how much because as they tell me the goalpost changes every time you turn around, but um, they had they quoted me a certain amount and uh, I wasn't working. I have my homemaker. I've been a homemaker for years. So I had to try to make it up that amount um, starting in the end of July is when I called them. And uh, <laughs> we were trying to make it up from the end of July to December 31st, that certain amount, which the only, because of the health condition itself, including, you know, my, swell, my legs and feet swell real bad, which still, yeah, working on that, I'm trying to, but, uh, all the health conditions, I'd have to have a job that I'm working as an independent contractor, I'd have to show that I make a certain amount of money. And, I mean, it was just a, such a such a cycle here. And uh, as an independent contractor, you know, one, I could work whenever I could work. Go home whenever I could go home. You needed to go home because of the health condition. My feet swelling, my legs swelling. All this stuff. You know, the bottom parts of my legs, it's like really tight, the skin. <laughs> my ankles and all that. Anyway, I had to have some job. And I had been watching these gig tubers on YouTube, you know, the gig they do. 
many of them do food delivery and stuff like that. Well, I could figure I could do that. Just go to a restaurant, pick up somebody's food, and take it to the house and drop it off. And if my feet would swell too much, I'd just go home and rest and all this stuff. Yeah. And it was, it's been working out, but I haven't been making the amount of money because my feet would swell and I'd have to go home and all this stuff. And plus the heat itself, the heat kept me from doing it because when it's a hundred and something during the day, day after day after day after day after day of year, it wasn't my first rodeo. I'm 60 years old with it and I'm Texan. Not my first rodeo. And no, you can't, I mean, me, there was no way I was going to go out and spend several hours outside during the day. And even some mornings waking up and it's like heat index is in the 90s in the morning. Fresh and I wake up at like 4. Okay, so yeah, it was pretty hot. You know, like trying to go out whenever it would be light outside. Because I don't go by myself in the dark. And uh, the heat would be too much. So I wasn't able to do it much. And then, then I finally did. And... Then the heat came back. It was such a, oh my goodness, it was one thing after another. Plus, to throw in there that some some internet challenge somebody put on the internet. I'm not going to say which one. I'm not even sure myself, but I heard about it. And then I called about it, and it was true. And I had to, it, it was like a week to ten days, somewhere around in there. I, had, I couldn't work because of a, a, a recall. And I had to have that recall for the insurance, the auto insurance. That, that was the auto insurance. And so I couldn't work because of it. And uh, that was a lot, that's a long one too. It was like it was just one thing after another. And today I'm taking off because I want to see if my, my ankles, the, the, it's like it's right there. It's right there wanting for my feet and my uh, ankles and my legs. Yesterday it was swollen. And we'd only gone out maybe an hour, maybe two, actually. Adam went with me because it was going to be dark, and uh, I think I'd worked maybe two or three hours yesterday, tw two different times, and they, they swelled up again, and I'm like, I want to just take a few days off because tomorrow's going to be storming, and tonight, tomorrow, and then the part of the next day. And I wanted just to take off and uh, see if I could get the swelling just to go away finally. It's like right there, right there, <laughs> you know, like finally. And uh, I think it started swelling up really bad like that if I was in the in my uh, you know my SUV about a year ago I'd say and it had done it a couple times before then you know here and there but nothing like this and then it would go away but it hasn't in a, in a few months I guess a couple months since I got this swelling in my abdominal area too yeah, and I have my suspicions of what I think it is so. But I'm not a medical, you know, in any way, medical um, voice of authority or provider or anything. So, yeah. God. Okay, plus on top of it all, I have a rare health condition. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta have that. But I've had it, I've had it since I, would, I know, at least since I was 10 years old. Um, but even before then, when I was a kid um, in kindergarten, me and another girl, we, we thought we were different because we were so tall. And we noticed, and we both noticed at the same time, we were so tall. You know, compared to all the other kids in kindergarten. We were, we were in the line for the girls' restroom. And that's when we both noticed it. And that's part of my health condition. And it causes a lot of, you know, I'm a gentle giant is what I would say. But um, it causes all kinds of other major problems, really, when it comes down to it getting older isn't helping so so anyway so all of that and then some and I'm just kind of like today tomorrow and well today I'm going here to get this rug because like I said I was talking about Adam we had a maid maid service it was two of them came in with the owner and then she has I guess she trains her employees that way and they clean their house just just the bottom part that's all we wanted was the bottom part, the, the first floor, in other words, we had two, and, uh, 
and they, they took up all the rugs and everything, and Adam didn't want to put them back. And, well, I need some rugs, okay? <laughs> In some places, I want some rugs. I always wear socks, but because they now I had worn socks or something, or these, uh, oh, what do they call them? Like fleece socks. It was, and I've always worn something, but because of the edema, the swelling, it, it works like a tourniquet. They work like a tourniquet. So I need some rugs. It's the next thing to it, you know. I was told actually years ago to stop wearing socks all the time. But, uh, yeah, did I listen? I did for a while. But, I, but I've got two dogs now, two puppies that go zooming in and out of the house. And it's just like, not puppies. They're, well, I got puppies rescued different times. But they're like, they're still teenagers or early 20s and human years, you know. And they're just zooming in and out of the house. I mean, they have the zoomies like you wouldn't believe in they're playing. And like it's muddy out from the back. You know, I'm talking about from the backyard. You know, they have a freedom back there. With, it's all gated in. And stuff gets all over the floor. It's just ridiculous. So how much they will track in. But, um, you know, I don't want to be barefooted, but... It looks like I have to go back to that. Plus, they step on my foot or they lick my foot if I don't have something on it. I tell them, I said, they're, they're the opposite of like service dogs. <laughs> you know? they, they see that I'm having trouble with something. Like my feet, one of my f one foot, he had just put some medicine on it. Some, uh, some the, the, uh, one of the nurses, the new one, uh, had told me to get and he, he had just put it on there for me and uh the dog the, put my foot down the dog licked it I'm like really now and i thought the dog was not standing right there but it was that one it's an american pit bull terrier and i'm like you dogs and then i'm trying not to wear socks or anything I'm trying not to uh, which is really tough for me it's very tough for me not to wear socks or something or shoes or socks or shoes you know and uh, I wear them, like I say, pretty much all the time. And I walked in from outside without, you know, there's the concrete parking where I was parking at our home. And uh, the first thing that happened was one of the dogs licked my foot. <laughs> Come on, you two, stop it. <laughs> and I have two, I have one toenail that is ruined because of the dog. They kept stepping on the same one that they did the same thing to Adam, the same toe, the big toe on the left side. I'm like, how can these dogs know this? And I'd jump and move, move away and everything else, but they would find a way to make it. They would find a way. <laughs> I'm kind of joking, but not at the same time because it is, it's coincidental. It's, these are dogs and they may have smelled something like, you know, that stuff on my foot cream and they, they want to sniff it and smell it and lick it and you know I just can't move fast enough to get away from them uh, whatever is the case but it is weird how they do they, both of them both of them are like that but anyway I'm on my way to I thought I'd do a little vlog and catch up on what's going on in my life and I'm on my way to Dollar Tree to get a rug one of them is a rug maybe I'll find two what street that was. What street is that? You would think as many times I've gone here. Plus, I do deliveries. You would think what that is it. I would know, but not me. Yeah, like I said, I have to do something. Oh, I didn't finish that part, but I had to do something where I could go home. Or did I say it? I just started doing these food delivery things. Yep, sure did. And uh, I did say that. Man, my goodness, I'm just rambling and not remembering. But anyway, why did I forget it? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, make sure I get in here without getting hit. But I'm going to take off, that's what I was talking about, take off a few days for it and uh, see if my feet go down. But knowing me, I'll probably say, well, let's just go out a couple, because I've already been thinking about that. Let's just go out tonight. It's supposed to rain, though, for like a an hour or so and you know, see what I can do in an hour or so 
I mean, I can only do what I can do. That's as final as it is. But anyway, that's as true as it can be. You only do what you can do. I don't know. You know, one thing I'm learning about is the parking is just, it's changed. I've never had a time in my life when parking, and Adam said the same thing. And I'm not the only one. You see people taking their half out of the middle quite often. And uh, people parking crazy. Because the way they do the, the parking spaces these days is so weird. It's like at an angle. And uh, like part of your SUV would be um, in, in the lane above and part not. I'm just closing this off. Okay, I, I didn't get to wrap that up. Somebody, you saw her walk in front. And uh, anyway, I'm going to go pick up my order to um, some meat at the butcher's. I'm going to go pick that up. And I ordered, they also do um, cook burgers. and all, They have like elk burgers and all kinds of interesting things. I'm just getting regular little hamburgers for us. And uh, he's getting onion rings. I'm getting tater tots, which I can't really eat. Probably should have, or I can't even eat, eat any of that. I don't even eat the buns on my uh, stuff. And they don't put so much salt on them. They don't put too much salt. So, uh, usually I can't eat burgers even because of my health. But uh, Dollar Tree took me <laughs> longer than I thought, about an hour. And I wanted to go to the restroom, but some woman ran toward it and she did not come out. Another woman came banging on the door. I think she worked there. Well, we still didn't come out. So, but, uh, so, I have to go here, I guess, or just make it home. I don't know. Once I turned 59, everything started going to, you know, yeah. And why am I discussing that kind of stuff, right? But anyway, I'm in a rush to get to get going. And But it was good because the weird, interesting thing with this, with for me, I'm not saying it would be for anybody else. Uh, from what I understand and what I've experienced, even experienced myself, so it was this edema. I mean, I know that it works for. I mean, I don't. I'm, I'm just gonna talk about myself. <laughs> I'm not gonna say about anybody else. But um, walking helps it. Yet, uh, you know, I used to always joke, but it wasn't so much of a joke that my exercise is uh, shopping. And it, it helps me to walk, it seems like. I walk around like shopping stores and stuff. You're a little bit too close over there. And, uh, but driving, no. Sitting in my car, no. Plus my health condition itself, the back of the part of my legs, the muscles, they don't, um, you know, the muscles that I use to sit down and stand up and all this stuff. And uh, sometimes just walk back of the muscles, what do they call it, hamstrings or something in the back, whatever, uh, they weaken, and I've been trying to get them to build up again, but it's, it's difficult, you know, they weaken, and I guess during 2020, 2021, you know, because I was a vulnerable person because of my rare health condition, yeah, I wasn't so much um, get, getting the kind of exercise, which I didn't know, you know, that I would need. This health condition, I tell you, it's got such weird, so many weird little things that it causes problems that doesn't cause problems, you know, for other people. I mean, you know, people who don't have this, of course. People who do, it can, it can. I don't know if it's 100%, like I said, I'm just going to talk for myself. Speak for myself. But that, that thing, and one day, it was a week or so ago, I kept having problems with, and this is the weirdest one. <laughs> I don't know if it's even related. The the weirdest one is that of trying to sit sit down. If my knees are higher than you know, my lap is higher than you know it's raised up, it's really difficult for me to stand up. Seriously, I'm sitting down and my lap is the knees is higher than my butt. I guess you, say, you know where I'm sitting, how I'm sitting. If the knees are raised up, oh man, no, <laughs> it's like. Uh, uh not gonna happen and uh, so that's the kind of the weirdest weirdest thing but I don't know what this was related to it's really weird like when I first started making videos on YouTube t uh, nine years ago on my original channel which I plan on put, putting this on my original channel um, when I first started making them I was having some 
problem um, I had been having for two and a half years or so. And um, I was having like a little, uh, they call it contact dermatitis, but it, it, to me it was a rash that was growing all over my body. And two and a half years of it just slowly growing. You know, any place that didn't have hair follicles, like on the palm, the palm my, actually my palms on my hands, that turned silver at first. And then anywhere there's no hair follicles, it started growing a rash, like a, they call it contact dermatitis. Yeah, whatever. I, fi I finally figured out after 21 healthcare professionals, I quit counting. None of them could figure it out. I finally figured it out myself. Uh, seriously, I am serious. And uh, it was, I was allergic to a medication. None of them had even suggested such that they had put me on, and I had been taking it before then, even just, but not as much, not much. But anyway, they kept saying, take more of it, take more of it, take more of it. Uh huh. Okay, I cut that off because of dog walker with dogs and a guy uh, walking by. The guy was on the sidewalk. Dog walker was through the parking lot. But anyway, um, so way back then, what ha one of the things that happened during that was I lost my bottom teeth on the back part of my mouth, the back part, back bottom teeth. And uh, then it, it also messed up a couple of them in the front on the bottom. So I eventually got a partial, and just for those, because of that. But yeah, it did that. It was awful. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. But uh, it was all because of, of a medication I was taking. That's just. And they, uh, Adam's doctor recently tried to put him on. I said no. Uh. -uh. And then at the same time, my, one of my sisters, uh, she had been putting on. She had been put on it, and it almost killed her. She was in the hospital, and let me know. That's what happened to her. Uh. -uh. But anyway, um, I guess we're all test subjects. <laughs> anyway, um, because of that, that um, partial and everything, this is the weirdest symptom I've had recently. And I think it was like last week, part of last week, or just during a couple times, a few times, a few days, is that my, that partial would feel like it was keeping my jaw, it's a bottom partial, it's like it was keeping my jaw open too wide and it was hurting it seriously <laughs> it was the weirdest thing to me was what you know it's keeping my bottom you know it's keeping my jaw or whatever I mean I don't even think you can say it that way can you I'm not a healthcare good I mean voice authority obviously but it, that's what it was like and it was and it would ache I mean, just a weird ache, and I have to take it out and leave it out for a few, you know, a couple hours would be enough, actually. And then, but also I had weakness. You know, not on my jaw, but just weakness. Like, all of a sudden, I'd walk, you know, I was doing these deliveries, I'd walk to, you know, walk, like, from here to the road you see in front of me, and come back, and I would feel so weak all of a sudden. And I don't know whether it was the temperature, because really, when was the temperature ever really good? But it would just, feel, I feel weakness. Okay, I'm going to go finally get this stuff. And I'll talk to you on another video.